In other words, Paul says, it's going to be worse than my, than my generation to where I'm beating, put in prison for preaching the gospel because these people will have a form of godliness. They'll think they're righteous. They're going to be the toughest ones going because they think they're so righteous for what they do and for the acts they've done. But they're not pursuing the things of the impossible that God has called us to, to pursue. Hmm. So he says, this is the danger. This is going to be worse than a beaten. This is going to be worse than prison, that we have a form of godliness. In other words, we come in with a warmed over faith instead of coming in looking for the presence of God that he promised would be at any of our church services where two or three are gathered in his name to be his presence. So instead of leaning in and looking for the presence of the Father, we're just going to come and say, well, you know, sometimes God does. Well, you know, miracles really aren't for today. Oh, baloney. Jesus never put a time element on his miracles. Yes. 